want you to know that I am not as typical as every other guy in this house. Yes, I can be a bad boy. Yes, I can be a playboy. But once I cut all my crap out and put myself in a straight and narrow place, trust me, I give it all my 100% best and I put my heart out on my Anyway, what's wrong with you setting a propaganda on me? Yes, at least we know who. Do we? I don't know who. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now before I get into the whole, you know, Benita and Adekule break up and make up the whole relationship they're trying to build between White Money and of course Mercy and of course the fact that, you know, Cross is in love with Kim. This video is proudly brought to you by Mini Mini Noodles. A big shout out to Mini Mini Noodles for sponsoring this video and for keeping housemates always filled and of course focused. Now straight into my gist. We saw the fact that yesterday after the Sunday Live Eviction show, we saw Adekule and Venita in an epic fight. I mean, they were literally calling out themselves, especially Venita was mad. She said she was broken, right? Um, and the fact that Adekule did not come to sleep in bed, you know, two nights ago, and the fact that everybody had to ask him what's happening, people had to come into their relationship issues, right? And Benita was really mad at Adekule because after the Sunday Live Eviction show, Adekule wanted to speak with her, wanted to have a conversation with her and all of that, and then boom, she just told him, leave me, oh, leave me. Leave me, oh. Which is what I did. Leave just me, oh. This no is the problem. reason why I left yesterday. No problem. Just leave it. This you is did the it. You know, left. you did it. You did it. I think he was trying to explain, you know, why he didn't do, you know, come to bed. Um, the fact that, you know, he didn't tell any house what was happening between them. I did, and you know, I was going to say I didn't. I mean, Venita, the yeah, I didn't actually. But Venita was saying that, you know what, actions speak louder than words, right? Actions speak louder than words. So if you didn't come to bed, people would know because by default, the routine and the pattern is that you come to bed every night. So even on a particular night, you're sleeping on the garden and you're moving into the living area, you're sleeping on the couch. You automatically means that there is a problem. And you know, people begin to say one or two things about what's happening between them. So Venita was not even hearing any of his explanations. No, oh, bitch! It was the obvious When you why? told me on the couch yesterday. Why was and it you obvious? Asked, what was my response to you? you why was you it didn't, obvious? You, you didn't say Tell anything. Tell the truth! Exactly. Why was it they eventually still moved into the toilet where the conversation continued, but Venita was vehemently, you know, just tizing um, at the colleague for literally embarrassing her on national TV. She literally said, he, you know, he exposed her. And then in a sudden twist and turn of things, right, we see the fact that they could have gathered for us, including Perry, and they started singing for Venita. They started begging Venita. You know, it was, he coordinated, he went to the bed, he stood there, and they were singing, I, I can't remember the song right now, but it was, a very, it was a very popular song. They were singing that just to make sure that Benita feels better. And I think that it was quite um, a sight to behold. I mean, what a man would do to just get his woman. Even though I feel like I think should probably have handled the situation well. To be very honest, it's a game. There's emotions involved, right? People will say a lot of things. The fact is, people will say different things. He's hearing a lot. Some people are saying he's a toy boy. So in his mind, he's like, am I a toy boy? Some people are saying he's, a, he's now Mrs. Abufure, Mrs. Benita, while she is Mr. Adekule. You know, so a lot of things got into his head, but at the same time, I think that if you're going to be with someone, be with someone regardless of whatever you're hearing, right? We then eventually see Adekule and Benita in bed. Lights out, it was white and black, dark, and then you could literally see these people back in their couple mode. Moving on to my next gist, it seems like Cross is falling in love with Kim Opera. Now, we look at the fact that, you know, he's here. So apparently, right, it looks like he's been observing that there's something going on between Perry and Kim. Even though Perry and Kim kind of like each other, right, and all of that. I think they've been an item outside of the house before they came into the house. And then, you know, um, we see the fact that Cross is telling Kim that, see, I want to be with you. You know, I'm going to just, he was saying if he, want, if he wants to be with a lady, he's going to drop all his shenanigans on the side and he's really going to face one person. And you could literally see, he literally was trying to sell his car, was telling Kim up, I see, you are somebody I want to be with and guess what, I'm going to drop all these things I'm doing, all my bad boy behaviors. I know I'm a bad boy, but when I'm ready to be with you, I want to be with you. Come to whatever it is that you want because I have decided that this is who I want to give it to. And that's how I am. I will not play any form of games anymore. We're officially in week seven and the scheming and planning for nominations, or pardon me, whatever, I think it's nominations for this week also. 
has begun. Now, why do I say that? We see the fact that after the Sunday Live Eviction Show, Don Yu's the head of house, and of course, Mio, we are seen having a conversation in the, in, the, in the restroom area, right? And you can hear Don Yu talking about the fact that she wants to put somebody up, she wants to put uh, Marshall out up. Maybe she should put, you know, Angel up, right? Uh, I don't know, I think Angel has been put out, but I don't know, maybe trying to campaign for her to get a part of me, please. So you saying that she's saying that, you know what? Maybe she should put this person up. Maybe she should put this other person up. And then we see the fact that, you know, Neil is saying he's going to put a lay by you up for possible evictions. But doing is here begging Neil not to put a lay by you up. That Neil should look to, you know, you know, have a rethink that, you know, lay by you has been his baby at some point. That regardless of the fact that they have the back and forth, lay by has been his baby at some point. And, you know, I think that Neil is trying to just shoot all any badge that see, babe, I know what I'm doing in this house. Because telling everybody just telling him, use your head. So he's beginning to realize that, come on, it feels like he hasn't used his head in a long while <laughs> in terms of the nominations and pardon me, please. So he's right here saying that he wants to put a lay-by for possible evictions, but doing is begging him not to do that. Lay-by in a big. A big now. A big. Just leave him for this week. Mm -hmm. And finally, my view, we see the fact that um, in some kind of playing mode, we see that Mercy wants to have money to stop perching around her and just be with her and come in full force, right? That there should be a ship in the house. And why money is telling her to see? There are, if there are two people I know they don't need a ship to win in this house, right? It's himself and herself because they've been winners before now and they've got obviously a fantastic fan base. But here, you know, um, what's her name? Mercy is telling him that, you know, Make sure that you come in full force. Don't come and be going around. A lot of guys, it feels like their game in the house is just be, you know, be touching base with people and they're moving on. And you know, she says she doesn't want that. But why money is still insisting that you know what? If you don't want me to do that, right? We don't have to be a sheep in the house. Let us go be a full sheep. Let everybody know that we know that you know what we are dating full time, both in the house and outside of the house. Mm -hmm. I'm a winner, a winner. Mm -hmm. So if they do our team, we will do our team. They but they pet, they tell other girls that you like them. Make the person come and prove tell me. Just before I go, the people who have qualified for the Minimi Comedy League auditions have been selected, right? So right now, rush to our Instagram page and, of course, our Twitter page. Go and check if your name is there. If you made it, you know, to contest and compete for 10 million era cash, guess what, guys? You can end up being Basket Smart's team, you know, Senator's team, MC Lively's team, and, of course, you know, Funny Bull's team. One person will go home with 10 million era cash. Go on our Instagram page and see if you have been selected for the whole competition. And that's it on this video. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on notification bell, so guys, so you get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok, and follow me at FM Daniel. Until next time, I'll come away again very soon. That's bye for now.